Alright guys, in this video I'm going to show you how you can create this paper turn on effect inside Affinity Photo. So let's get started. Create a new document. I'm going to make it 1920 by 1080 and click on create. Then I'm going to grab these two images that I'll be using for this tutorial. So I'm just going to select these two and drag it inside Affinity Photo. I'm going to arrange these. I'm going to put the portrait of this guy at the top and the animal, the tiger portrait at the bottom. I'm going to zoom out and I'm going to select this image of this model over here and with the selection tool I can just hold the control key and resize it down and just put it right in the middle of our document. So uh, to make your life easier go to view and go to snapping manager and make sure that the enable snapping is turned on. That will help you align things in the middle. So once the image is there you can just fiddle, fiddle around with it and try to place it perfectly and you can just you know increase the size and the positioning just place it perfectly i'm just going to move it down a little and then i'm going to just reduce the opacity of this image uh, so that i can see the the image of the tiger and i'm going to use that image and place that right i'm going to try to make sure that the eye of the tiger the eye of this model I'm just going to make sure that they are at the same spot like that so after that's done I'm going to reduce um, I'm actually going to increase the opacity back to 100 percent all right that's done now the next step is to just go to the link in the description you will see paper tone out brushes for affinity photos actually for Photoshop but you you are able to use Photoshop brushes and Affinity Photo as well. So on the right side, you can see the brushes. Once you get download the file, it will probably be in a zip format. You extract it, and inside you will get a .abr extension file. So just double click on that, and it will basically install the brushes inside Affinity Photo. And once you do that, then in the brushes from this list, you can select this torn paper brushes. You just click on that and you can see that there are quite a few nice brushes over here. And you can start with the very first one and just select that. Now on the left side, you can see the paint brush tool. Click on that to select it. And before we begin painting in onto our canvas, we need to create a layer mask for our image for this subject over here. And just select that layer and you can see the layer mask layer icon just click on that make sure the layer is selected the mask and you can now paint in to your canvas and you can just click once make sure the size is big enough of this brush and just click once and you can just create a clipping mask or mask layer icon mask layer in your image all right so that's done now to get that paper paper texture at the edges the white paper feel uh, we need to create a new layer for that above our tiger uh, image so just create a new layer and fill it in with white color so go to the color over here on the right side and change the color to white and i'm just going to make sure the brush is big enough so that it fills the entire area with a white color like that so once you are done then on this layer on this pixel layer it says pixel you can select that and again click on the mask layer icon to create a mask all right so then you can go back to brushes and this time you can choose a different brush so you can select any different brushes um, from this list go back to the color tab make sure the color is set to black and go back to your canvas and you can see that you are able to mask out this white color and bring back your tiger eyes inside your image so i'm just going to click once to get that back and uh, at some places i can still bring back that white paper texture in our image so i'm going to go to brushes and choose a different brush this time and go to the color tab and change the color to white so i'm just going to get that white color in our animation so i'm just going to get that white color in our image so maybe i'm going to do one over here and one over here and do it from the bottom as well and 
and some over here that looks fine now we are pretty much done I'm going to select this tiger layer and just select that and from the brushes I'm going to select a basic brush select any basic brush and I'm going to uh, select the paint brush tool and in the width I'm going to increase that to a lot and I'm going to decrease the hardness and now I can start painting on this uh, canvas and just make sure that the color is set to black and then you can just create something like this right now it's too much so I'm just going to also reduce the opacity down to 80% so now you can just create a bit more depth in your result right that looks so cool now um, we can finalize this edit by selecting our main image the one that is at the top select the topmost layer and go up to layer effects click on that and we can apply the auto shadow on this so we can just zoom in and we can see that uh, right now there is nothing over there so we just have to increase the offset value and change the angle as well and I'm going to make it 100% uh, or around 70% that should be fine and uh, click on close so we can zoom out and we have this little a little shadowy thing going on in our paper tone effect uh, but that's up to you if you want to play around with different settings you are free to do so uh, but that's it for this video guys i hope this video was helpful i hope you learned something new if you did then please make sure you leave a like and also subscribe to the channel thank you so much for watching and i'll see you guys in the next one